Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this tutorial, we will try to understand why group 2 elements are termed as alkaline earth metals. Basically, the term alkaline represents the basic nature of group 2 elements. Group 2 elements that are beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, and barium. If we talk about their oxides and hydroxides, these are basic in nature. That's why group 2 elements are generally termed as alkaline. Now, if we talk about the, uh, their basicity order, when we move down the group from beryllium to barium, their basicity is increased. Here, beryllium hydroxide and beryllium oxide shows exceptional behavior. These are not basic in nature. Basically, these are amphoteric in nature. While our other elements and their oxides and hydroxides are basic in nature, that's why group 2 elements are generally termed as alkaline metals. Now, the next point is why we use the term earth. Basically, uh, group 2 elements are found abundantly in earth crust. That's why the term, they are uh, designated by term earth. For example, calcium is the fifth most abundant element of crust and magnesium is the sixth most abundant element of crust. That's why they are also designated with term earth. Now the next point is as we already understand that group 1 elements are basic in nature and they are termed as alkali metals. While in this tutorial we have understand that group 2 elements are basic in nature and they are termed as alkaline metals. It means that alkali and alkaline these terms basically represent their basic nature. Now in order to differentiate the alkali metals that are group 1 elements are monovalent elements from the alkaline metals that are group 2 elements are divalent elements we generally use the term alkali for group 1 elements and alkaline term used for group 2 elements thank you so much